am Shivani and the anchor of this video. Well, I don't know how many of you will like this video, but please give thumbs up and hit subscribe button if you like this segment. So guys, many of us have encountered the term voice over artist. Someone who acts through his or her voice and here in this segment, I am going to tell about some of the women voice artists who made our childhood special with their amazing voice acting. But the twist is that I am going to use my own voice for this segment. Well, you don't understand it now. You must have to watch this full segment for getting to know the twist. So just move into this video without wasting any time and let's start with the intro of Doraemon voice artist Sonal Kaushal. Sonal Kaushal is the name which brings a new recognition to voice industry. She started her dubbing career at the age of 13 with the show Doraemon. Hello dosto, I am Doraemon and I am here to Dora Kicks for you all. No, if you don't have your homework, then I can't give you a gadget. Now, do your homework quickly, no, if you don't, then you will get a lot of your mom. She is still doing it and owning the tag of Queen of Voice Acting. Apart from Doraemon, she also gives the voice to Pikachu. Pika Pika Pikachu 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 It's been 15 years now since she's doing it. Let you all know that in her 15 years of voice acting, she has given the voice to 200 plus characters. Now let's move into another voice artist, Akansha Sharma. She is giving voice to Shinchan posts or her soul in the character. In one of her interviews, she states that it requires two months of practice for her to become the official voice of Shinchan. Like Sonal, she can also give the voice to other characters. She gave the voice to Shinchan's friend Nani. Shinchan, how are you feeling today? I'm very good. Let's go to my house. If you don't play with me, I'll beat you. I'll explain to you. Now let's move into the next voice artist, Dorimon's sister Dorami. She is also doing the voice to Dorami's sister Dorami and WWE female wrestlers and also she dubbed the voice for Discovery Channel. Let you all know that she unrolled herself from radio jockeying to voice acting and started her journey in 2013. After these two ladies, now let's talk about another voice artist, Simran Kaur. The official voice of cartoon character Nobita. <laughs> Makes all the way possible from TV industry to voice acting with her skills and talent. She made her debut in the industry with the show Agni Fera. And now she's playing the role of Nobita with voice acting. Her versatility shows how creative she is. She enjoys every little thing she does and here also she is enjoying the art of voice acting with her creative performance. Now let's move into the ending part of the video with the description of Meghna Arande. She has been in this industry for 29 years. From a cement mixer's Daisy Slav to Ninja Hattori's Ding 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 and Shinzo. Oh wow, the first one got hit. This is the first one of the first one. I think I have to think a little bit for the secret. She gave the voice to so many characters. She was being praised of having a good voice and the people around her 
insist her to step in the voice industry. So, she decided to take a glimpse of voice acting and her decision leads her towards the success. Now, she occupied her name in every other form of voice industry by providing her beautiful voice to Discovery Channel, IVR videos, animated cartoons, dubbing and Marathi actresses. Well, let me tell you that she also gives the voiceover of my favorite cartoon character, Naughty. Chali hawa chali, shahar ke aar paar Tum janu mein, janu mein na manu haar Hello Vigyash, kaha ja rahe ho? So, these are those women voice artists who inspire many people like me. And if you like my voiceover that I have given, then please let me know with your comments and likes. I hope you will like this video. Bye-bye.